On this week's episode of Nerds Talking the Podcast, the nerds welcome the salty nerds onto the show as we talk about the logo theft. We also talk about Jason Aldean and his song, Try That in a Small Town. What do we have to say about it? Any controversy? We'll let you know. And also, Threads, the new social media. Are you using it? Are you on it? What you don't know is you already have it. And also, what are we watching? We recommend you to watch. Find out. All that and more on this episode of Nerds Talking, the podcast. Now start the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune into us. We'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM. No matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. Another Friday, another episode. I'm here with a large cast of people. That's right. There is a total of seven of us this week because we have the crew from the Salty Nerds on the show. Oh, hello. What's up, everybody? Right there. There's Jude. There's Hi. Alex. And, and me. Matt. <laughs> let's not forget. And then, of course, we have Carlos, Johnny, and Laura. And I'm Lafayette. So welcome to the show. So uh, first, let's talk about how we cross-pollinated, how, how this <laughs> even happened. How... Well, first of all, thank you so much for having us on. We were really excited to come and collaborate. Yes, oh, that's great. No, I, I love it. I mean, sheesh, people, more people, the better when it comes to like doing cross shows. We've done it numerous times. I mean, Laura is on our show permanently because we cross-pollinated with her show. Oh. And yeah, so we might steal one of you guys, too. Yeah, so, so um... <laughs> beware. You can have Vader. Uh, you know what <laughs> bring him on bring him on but uh Vader got... was like oh you're going on that podcast with those dirty logo thieves <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's hilarious because we did a, a patreon show and we talked about the whole he, got so thing. Drunk. he got so drunk he went from fuck those guys to those are my best friends Dude, i want to make friends with them like, he's... <laughs> they, do that. they do our show we do their show we're all going to be the best podcast friends that's not even <laughs> Not even an exaggeration. Yeah. I really watched, watched our co-host Matt Vader sit here and go, oh, fucking goddamn fucking thieves stole our fucking logo, <laughs> fucking assholes. I never want to talk to them again. Let's destroy them. And then like 30 minutes later and a couple of cocktails, he's like, Man, I just listen, man. We just need to get together and We're love them. Family, man. And I'm like, family. Wow, dude. <laughs> Vader sounds pretty cool. Yeah. And uh I'm upset that he wasn't here. He's the coolest grandpa you ever meet. Yeah. What was right? he drinking? Uh, whiskey, everything. Yeah, it was yeah. like vodka because we we have um, they're not a sponsor, but they just they like our content, so they send us free booze once in a while. Yeah, oh. 20 mile whiskey, and then they also have a vodka yeah. called Ambush Canyon. And so we usually have the Shady Mile whiskey on the table, and we'll like have a couple of shots while we record. Well, Vader, I think, started off the day with vodka, and then he switched to whiskey, and then it was just sort of downhill from there. And he was like, "This is the happiest I've ever been, guys." <laughs> Well, it's good for him. So yeah. Yeah. Vader had a point. We just came together <laughs> because of a logo. Yeah, because right. of a yeah. logo. Carlos will have to explain it because when he explained it to us and all that, we're oh, okay. I mean, that's whatever. And then but Carlos will have to give us a lay a layout of the story of the logo. So well, everybody one gets of you got up. duped. Was it was it Carlos? Uh that was me. Got that what? was Carlos. Got duped. <laughs> got duped. How to get duped? Because you got duped by a little Moroccan kid selling you fake logos. <laughs> That's what Yo, you're man, you Pakistani logos? girl. I get it to you by three o'clock for five dollars. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you want yeah, a fever for the, anything. The the logo that I came up with for our show, like originally, because I was going through different names for the podcast um, when I first first started, and it was just me. It was me by myself. I didn't have any co-hosts. I didn't have anybody. I was recording on my cell phone um i think my first episode was uh on my iphone recorded talking about the purchase of um what's one big company bought another big company and i was like hey everybody this is the first part <laughs> this stupid stuff and um you, you I, still have that original i do I, I have it on my phone yeah i save it as that, for that fundamental 2018, value 2019. uh yeah 2018 i think um but i i just was like goofing around i love calvin and hobbs 
Um, so if you if you look at the logo, nice. there's there's a reference of of Calvin's hairstyle in it. Um, and then there's um there's a cartoon panel of Calvin dancing with Hobbs and he has these big black sunglasses on. And there's a there's a screen or not a screenshot, but there's a, a, a comic panel of him like hanging out with his glasses on. And I was like, oh, I love that. That's awesome. I want that to be my logo. So I just hand drew it on my phone uh, in my notes and it looked like dog shit. It was just awful. And I was like, well, I can't put that online because nobody's going to think that's serious. Somebody's going to steal it. <laughs> so I, I, throughout the years, I kind of like slowly upgraded it. And then I got a friend of ours to do a, like a little bit of a mock-up and he had like square kind of chunky glasses. Yeah, shout out to Stephen Wayne from... Uh... It wasn't Stephen. It, was, um, it was somebody else. I can't remember his name. Roger or something. Uh, Roger Marks or whatever. Uh, but he was part of our DM group um, mm -hmm. from the League of Legends or whatever it was called. And uh, of extraordinary, leave extraordinary gentleman on Twitter. Yeah. And um, he was just a guy and he was like, hey, I can help you out with that. I was like, cool, man. Yeah, give me a hand. And he drew it, which it looked better than the one I made, but it wasn't great. It still was a little chunky, a little rough. Um, so I went to a friend who, what was his name? Stephen, Stephen Wayne, Stephen Wayne. I went to Stephen Wayne. An amazing and was, artist. And I was like, hey, man, can you do me a favor and just like polish this up for me? Like, I want the glasses to look sleek, you know, whatnot. But you, one of you guys on your podcast, you you called me out. You were like, it looks like you used a stylist. A hundred percent. I used a stylist <laughs> to make the hair. And um, and then he sent me it back and I was like, yeah, yeah that works. That works. And then that's kind of just yeah. where it stayed. And the, the reason that, you know, we, we can kind of tell things is because the glasses are very unique to the logo we had created. And so we believe that whoever you guys hired thought that that was just like clip art. And it wasn't like an original thing. And so they took that and changed the hair and then gave it to you guys. <laughs> um, so like, uh, it, it was kind of funny because when Vader came across your Twitter account, he was like, these guys are stealing our logo. <laughs> and then for the record, I don't know who I'm responding to on Twitter. I'm not sure which one of you guys runs the Twitter account. But, but the, the, the tweet that I did, I am a dickhead on Twitter. <laughs> admittedly, I, I do. Everyone. Things. Yeah. I, I say and do douchey things on Twitter. Um, but the tweet that I sent about, um, what did I say? Like uh, something about flattery, like imitation is the greatest form of flattery, yada, yada, yada. You were doing the Seinfeld. I was a Seinfeld joke because I'm in the middle of watching Seinfeld for the millionth time. And I was like, yada, yada, oh. yada. And I never heard from him again. <laughs> it, it's funny because Alex's sense of humor does not translate to text. And he's made so many enemies for our podcast <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah, uh, over Twitter. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, like we checked out your stuff and we were like, oh, these guys seem cool. Like, you know, yeah. we, we don't want to do a Twitter war with them. So. No. <laughs> no, I'm like, <laughs> we'd love to promote them and get them more viewers. Yeah. I'm I like, mean, I'm long like, story short, uh, Carlos paid somebody, I don't know how much money to do the logo. They probably looked up. The first attempt was horrible. I don't know. I forgot what it was. It was a really bad looking logo. And they came back with that logo we currently have. And there's a good chance they just looked up nerds podcasts and they're like, yeah. hey, you know what? That'll work. It's a good never know. Know. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that when people Google nerdy podcasts that my logo shows up. I mean, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. It it like SEO. In... You're rocking yeah. SEO. Yeah. Yeah. Money on that, my friend. It, it shows up as the first image result in Google. And, no shit. And I believe that whoever you know, did their logo, just assumed it was clip art. And so they did 25% change and they're like, oh, it's it's original now. So, <laughs> oh, hey, for but, sure. But, but if, you, if you look at the glasses, the glasses are the big tell because like those glasses were specifically designed by our artist um, back in 2019. I 20, yeah, 20, I got the like email. Was, yeah, because I you guys made me check my shit. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I need to find out when I did this. Oh. And, so Carlos, uh, yeah. you're going to have to tell us uh, refresh everyone's memory of your story of when you hired Ahmed to do your logo <laughs> and he went to Muhammad and he's like Muhammad who do you think hey we copy this one for five dollars he's like ah, no problem my friend give it to him you don't know he's a medic so tell yeah, us how, ma story. how many ruples did you pay for this yeah how many yeah <laughs> I paid fifty dollars oh no ah, you should have paid on, Alex. on uh <laughs> Fiverr fiber. yeah but I went looking for a logo and I hit up one guy and he didn't have time to do it. And then I found this other person and she said she'd do it. Um, and then the first one she sent back about a day or two later comes back. First one she sent back. It was nothing like, but a puff of like purple smoke, like a puff of purple smoke. And I said, nerds talking. I'm like, what is this? Nerd this says nothing. This does not say anything about my podcast. So she went back and she came back with the other one. I'm like, okay, this is better. 
I like the colors. I like the look. I like the tossed hair and the glasses. And she had a smiling face on it. I'm like, all right, it looks good. Um, then I asked how much for the the raw file so that I could do whatever I wanted with it. It was 50 bucks. And she sent me all this stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. Little did yeah. I know, she's a little thief in Pakistani. <laughs> there are no <laughs> IP laws in Pakistan. You know? and, and it's funny because because your logo is smiley face. It's just our frowny face turned up. <laughs> <laughs> just rotated it 180 degrees. Which, I Come, mean, fair enough. Uh, yeah, but, but that's, you guys have a fantastic logo. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Complete laziness. Just, I mean. And nah. then I, when I hit her up after the mention on Twitter, and the reason I didn't reply after you did the whole yada yada yada, I'm like, I'm not getting into a Twitter war over this. This is bullshit. Oh yeah, I'm surrender right, right away. Yeah, right away. Right <laughs> White flag. <laughs> Especially because you guys have like fans that are like piled on, and we were like, oh snap, <laughs> I don't want to get <laughs> into this shit. <laughs> like people are coming. I, for you. I have like, <laughs> oh, I think I have 150 followers on Twitter. Do I am not. Yeah, she doesn't even have a Twitter. <laughs> well, like te technically, none of us have followers on Twitter anymore because it's now X. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, no, Not no. yet. Mm, it can't yeah. be X yet. <laughs> what kind of it, is <laughs> it is. When I go on, it's an X. Oh, wait. So on the iPhone, it's X. On Android, it's still Twitter. No, yeah, well, no, yeah, I have it on my X. phone right now. It, it's, on it's, mobile, it's still X. According to TikTok, we're supposed to call it X. Yeah. It, it's officially been rebranded. So even though Android users haven't gotten the update yet, it's technically X. Yeah. So it's yeah. X it's, on iPhone then. No, oh, not did the, logo the logo change? is still the bird. The logo is still, the bird. still the bird. Well, because see, what I read was uh, uh, Microsoft owns the trademark for X due to Xbox X, mm. and they Ooh. they literally own the trademark just to X. <laughs> but I guess Meta owns the trademark for X that has anything to do with computers. What? So that's what? the reason why he hasn't been able to use it as a logo yet. This is a fucking glitch. The logo is on though. When you go on, it's a logo. <laughs> the logo on your is yours. Then you don't have the bird anymore. No, I mean, when you go to Twitter itself, up in the left-hand oh, corner. Oh, gotcha. X. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, unlike okay. Alex, I have 20,000 X followers Ooh. here. Hang on my every word, including James Daniel. He's Dangle. been dying <laughs> to talk about it. He loves talking about his yeah. Twitter account. Yeah. I, I was a blue check mark before they opened it up for the, all the unwashed masses. Yeah. <laughs> unwashed <laughs> masses. Shut up. Like Vader. Whatever. <laughs> but now, I don't think you can pay for it anymore. I think he stopped that, right? No, no. Because everyone was buying a check mark. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's Twitter Blue is their subscription service. Yeah, there like you go. Twitter eight bucks Blue. a month. Yeah, our Twitter our official um, Twitter account for the podcast has a blue check mark, but I don't. I don't. Matt, uh, Matt Vader runs the Twitter account for us. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't like which, which also gets us into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know hey, why you guys have him do yeah, that. Hey, Vader's like, I'm going to piss some people off today. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's, That's what Twitter's first. for. He's like, hey, you guys, I'm going to yep. piss some people off today, and we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. what account are you using? He's like. The podcast, <laughs> <laughs> which you know, le know, go ahead, Laura. Yeah, how can someone own the trademark to a letter? Isn't that kind of like you know, seems excessive, common seems use, a little meta? Well, Warren yeah. G and Garth Brooks went through this in a lawsuit and they just decided to share the letter. But what was the letter? <laughs> it was the G. Warren G wanted to sue Garth Brooks. This Garth Brooks oh, is using right. the G. He uses the G oh. promo as his as well. mark. That's Great segue right. into country then, music. That's right. <laughs> 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 Plus, everyone's heard the song Regulators. Right. It's everyone. Well, one hit up. wonder. One, one hit. Well, are you crazy? He said like three hits. Um, <laughs> But uh, that leads us into, yeah, like you said. Well, thank you for the Garth Brooks reference there. Because it leads us into our topic of Jason Aldean and his song mm. called. What is it called? Try is that it called? in a small town. Try that in a small town. Now. How many people have heard it and how many people are actually fans of Jason Aldean? Uh, we'll start with Johnny. Johnny, have you heard it and are you a fan? I've heard it. I've heard I'm a fan of one of his other songs, but uh, I'm not like a country uh, fan uh, regularly. But I saw the video. I didn't really see anything wrong. I mean, like as far as uh, the protesters and all the protesters that he like highlighted in the um, in the video were all white. And then every, but, but the protests were taken during the Black Lives Matter movement. And so there's all, everyone's all up in arms. Uh, ah, it's, uh, they're up in arms. It's crazy. Plus, all the, plus, they're not all from America. They're from Canada, too. Uh, how about Jude? Are you a Jason LD fan or like that song? Um, no, uh, I, I'm not a country music listener. And uh, for reasons other than this song, I'm, particularly like Jason Aldean is on a non-playlist non uh, 
for me and mine, um, mostly because uh, he was the artist that was on stage during the Vegas massacre. And it's a trigger for a lot of people who are locals here who are country fans. So uh, like just hearing his music in general, uh, people from Las Vegas who were there when it happened, uh, it's it's a huge trigger uh, of PTSD. Yeah. So he's just on a, non, a non playlist. Can you give some background on what really. Happened? I didn't even know about that. I I had never heard. Uh, so, I, I didn't uh, realize that he was the the person performing, and then I didn't realize that his music was a trigger. Yeah. Um. I don't know if it's something that's been like on the news or anything like that. But like, yeah, he was the artist that was performing when the shooting in Las Vegas uh, on October first, uh, two thousand, I think seventeen. Uh, when that started, he was the artist performing and he was obviously his team took him off stage when it happened. Uh, lots of my fr I wasn't there. Uh, lots of my friends were there. Uh, and so like we're Kadish and I are planning our wedding right now. And our DJ was like, is there anything you don't want me to play? And I was like, absolutely no Jason Aldean, because I don't want people freaking out and yeah. you know, like going back to that place. So just I've never been a, fr a fan of country music, uh, so I don't really know any of his music. I did some research for you guys today and I looked up his lyrics uh, and then I called a couple of friends who are country music fans and got their perspective on this song versus other songs of his. Okay. Well, there we go. How about what did Laura? they think? Oh, I'd, oh, no, okay. I'll I'll I want you to continue. Okay. No, all right. Yeah, you go. Uh, no, I am not a country music fan. I had no idea who Jason Aldean was until it was texted like this is going to be the topic. And we texted it around, you know, a few days after it kind of hit the shit storm. So I hadn't, I, I'm a mom. And so I'm very much so in my world. I had no idea what it was until you guys texted it. I looked it up, looked, watched the video. Um, my first impression is just like, God, country music sucks ass. <laughs> it, it That is the most offensive part of it to me, straight off. Um, but I was looking at it in a racial lens. I'm like, okay, I haven't read any articles. I haven't been informed by NPR what I should be thinking about it. So I'm just going to, you know, initially give my gut check. And I was, I was, my first impression was this is bold you know, to clearly make this kind of statement. It felt very bold, but I was specifically looking for the racial angle and I was noted to say like, yeah, these protesters are almost all white. And, and so I was like, eh, I don't, I don't really see it. But then I talked to a few of my friends, my, my NPR liberal friends for them to, to give me the down low. And they were telling me some background about you know, the building that was like historically known for lynching. And I was, I mean, I, I haven't done my research. I'm always hesitant to give like a hard and fast thing on ruling on this kind of thing because I haven't done my research, but they're like, oh, it's known for lynching. I'm like, well, is there a lot of old historical courthouse in the South that aren't known for lynchings? <laughs> 100%, right? Like uh, <laughs> even in California, I, I, took a, uh, I took a ghost tour in Monterey and we went around and there was an old courthouse there and they were like, yeah, they used to string people up here all the time. And then uh, rumor has it there's a body buried under this tree. And if you look really hard, there's ghosts and pay me my 40 bucks. So yeah. I didn't see any ghosts, by the way. But yeah, so like, a, there's, if a there's an rumor, old uh, a rumor of a body buried. Why don't they just try to unbury it? Like, because to tree. unbury it, that would kill the ghost tour market lafayette <laughs> the tree though and the desecration tree. you have to you, and the tree. maybe they were out of salt you got to have salt before yeah, you do that salt, shit. i don't know <laughs> well there's a place in northern california called hangtown right outside plasterville in the middle of town they still have a mannequin hanging jesus what fence. color is the mannequin <laughs> jesus christ he's a little hispanic looking <laughs> Yeah. Jesus. I didn't even know they made Hispanic mannequins. People have tried to get it. Just like, the taken sun down. has really turned it brown. Yeah, no. oh, They're yeah. man X. Get it right. Mm. <laughs> no, my wife is <laughs> my wife and all point. of my not an X mannequin. Yeah, you're right. No, yeah. Yeah, no good point. We, we call them with tinks. No, you do not. <laughs> no, no, you do that to get people upset. Hey, Brian from the pop yeah. schooled me on. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Ask any Mexican and they'll be like, they either yeah. don't know what the hell that is or they're yeah. like, what? Or like, don't call us I, that. My, don't my, like wife is, my wife is Mexican. She hates that term. All of my friends that I work with in construction and mining are all Latina and they're or Latino. And they're like, that. don't ever say that to me. Yeah. So I don't. That's more offensive to them Absolutely. than they than the liberals. Plus, it's, 
inclusive. It's, it's, it's like probably yeah, we, it's probably owned by Microsoft. We have a friend who <laughs> runs a, a um, Spanish speaking like movie review channel. His name is Polly, and he will literally kick you off the live stream if you say that word. <laughs> <laughs> so. hmm. well, okay, how about Alex? Uh, country fan or fan of this song or or what um, you take? No, I'm I'm kind of in Laura's camp. Um, I'm not a fan of country music. In fact, I I typically try to avoid it. Um, I listened to enough of this song that was like out there on Twitter and on the news and stuff like that. Um, to get context for what these people are upset about, and then I was like, "Why are you upset? <laughs> this this is like a benign country song about like, hey, don't like it's a, it's a red blooded American." don't burn my flag like there's a million of those songs out there in the country music sphere like you go down the list of country music stars and there's gonna be a pro-american pro-military song in one Red, of their albums white, yeah blue, right like toby blue, blue, what was it? toby it is toby keith. toby keith toby keith he has a bunch of those types of songs yeah, there's like yeah. my flag you know toby keith every run. song is just him rewriting the national anthem yeah, that's, that's, yeah. So I'm like that's I small. don't understand why people are upset about this one. Also, it came out like months ago, and they're just now upset about it because I guess somebody was listening to it and they were like, "Oh, this is offensive." I'm like, "Shut up!" I, I just, I just, I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carlos. Uh, I know you don't like country music, but the song. Mm -hmm. Well, hell, the only reason I even listened to it was to see what the big hubbub was about. I saw it all over Yahoo News and Twitter and whatever. It's a nothing burger. This is just a waste mm -hmm. of time. It's just people trying to start something, trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. There's nothing there. Move on, people. I mean, just the crap about, like, they used to hang people outside the courthouse. Like Johnny said, what courthouse haven't they hung people in in the <laughs> South? Yeah, I mean, it, the song is nothing wrong with the song. Absolutely nothing, except the lyrics are horrible because he doesn't really rhyme them at the end. <laughs> <laughs> don't flow. But, I mean, that's it. And then he's the guy who was on stage the Vegas thing and that's I mean that's his thing that's his claim to fame I think and now this song is something else for people to talk about Jason Aldean well there you go no such uh, thing as bad press right uh, well true. especially in the culture <laughs> war no I mean I'm sure that he's gotten a few people well, like jumping on his bandwagon well right? he has the number well, one song on iTunes yeah, I was gonna say it just hit number one on the record yeah, yeah. Everyone's talking exactly about it, so. yeah yeah number one and Matt country fan and uh this song so um I hate country music with seven mm. passions. Um, I think seven. seven. Huh. Uh, is that like the seven deadly sins? Like, seven passions? Yeah, it's as high as I can count. Um, <laughs> no, to be honest, I want to hear all seven. I mean, now that we got uh, into it. Yeah. But, but uh, um, yes, I, I feel like country music all sounds the same to me, and I've never been a fan of it. Um, I was always more of a rock guy. Uh, but um, the the interesting thing about this this song is that, yes, it's been out for months, um, but the reason that they're coming after it now, so basically the cancel, cancel culture mob's first opening salvo to try to get rid of anything right away is to just deem it racist. And that's like the quickest and easiest method they found to just get the ball rolling on like getting rid of something that uh, they find problematic. And the issue with this song isn't so much, you know, about, you know, the the lyrics or the content or like whatever. The thing was, is that it was an anthem calling for people to basically fight back against rioters, aka BLM, aka Antifa, all this other like really political stuff. And it was gaining traction in, you know, kind of like the middle America crowd, where it's like, oh, if you want to come to our town and pull the crap that you did up in Seattle, uh, we will not stand for it. We will fight back. And this song was being used as, as an anthem to promote that idea. And that's dangerous to the people who want to burn down the cities, basically. And so they set their bots and their mobs out to try to deem this racist and get it canceled uh, because they were afraid of the message that it was spreading, which was, hey, fight back, especially with like an election season coming up where they are no doubt probably going to employ some very rough and tumble tactics to push their preferred candidate. So that's really the the push behind this is that it's a it's a don't don't F with us anthem and uh the far left the writers the antifa people they see that as a direct threat to what they have planned and that's why this is happening right now oh there you go i mean country music is ass we've all agreed uh, <laughs> nobody seems well, to like I, it 
I do want to interject on that point because uh-huh. I, I really like that point. I, I recently read an article that was great and I recommend that everybody in this call and all the listeners read it from The Atlantic called Why the Past 10 Years of American Life Have Been Uniquely Stupid. And mm-hmm. it is it touches on that point, Matt, about, um, you know, just like that that is the, the cry, that is the call that is going to activate everybody. And I mean, it's not, unusual i mean that's not a revolutionary thought and we all kind of are aware of it but the article is is really great and it goes into a lot of detail about it so i just recommend everyone to check that out it's my little plug well, that's for the from atlantic. where now like they need it the oh atlantic. the atlantic is there a paywall there is actually okay then but no, if you don't use, bother no. if you use edge it will go away or that's if you right. can if you listen to edge, the article that's right. yeah if you listen to the article they will allow you to do that for free that's i recommend right. it but also, laura you've been very adamant books on tape or don't count so that's right you told us <laughs> the article don't count as read reading. it how dare because you because it was oh, behind is... a paywall and my husband showed me the edge trick after I you know what if you can't it. read? Snap. Does it Johnny count as reading? Snap. Listen, Ooh. audiobooks Ooh. are the superior form of books. That is how I oh, make Oh, bull fucking <laughs> shit. All right. Fight words. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm somebody sounds novelist, salty. So that's Laura. I'm an actual published novelist, so I'm going to take the opposite oh, stance. Go. And I am an audiobook narrator. So. <laughs> wow, what a match made. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I wanted to comment real quick on, Laura, you stepped away for a moment to make yourself a drink, and you were gesturing with it. I wanted to know what was in your glass. It is a gin and tonic oh, with my girl. Uh, sweetened lime juice because nice. is it tonic sweet needs... Gin? No, it's oh, Hendrix. Steer clear. Oh, God, Listen. buy it. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to derail the podcast, but we uh, a message to your listeners and any of ours that might be listening to this podcast. Uh, steer clear of celebrity alcohol. They are except for aviation. Aviation, we've, but uh, aviation is good. We've been on a mission to taste all of the celebrity alcohols, and so far, the Rocks Tequila trash, trash, uh, Absolutely and Snoop trash. Dogg's Gin trash. It smells like lube. Kind of <laughs> tastes like it. Also. <laughs> and I had like four, and I didn't even catch a buzz. Yeah. Oh. oh, have you tried um, Snoop Dogg's wine? He has a oh, wine. He does it. have a Come wine. Yeah, <laughs> he has a wine. I find it. I don't know if he doesn't have a juice. Episode of Thirty Rock where Jack Donaghy has to offload a giant load of terrible wine, and he gets a rap star to promote it. No, no one's seen that episode. No. No. Mm. I, I just don't try recall Snoop's it. Weed though, I feel like that would be a little bit. That would be. That, yeah. be, yeah. that oh better my God, be good. Does he have a brand of weed? Yes, he does. I mean, now that yeah. it's like legal everywhere, he does. Yeah, out here, out Mike here in Tyson LA, has his own brand of yeah, weed. He, he has up. weed stores yeah. in LA. Surrey, it just yeah. turned legal, so this is all new to me. We live no. in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, anything it's goes. Been, yeah. in Las Vegas. Yeah, they have Coke stores. Mm-hmm. It's been legal for a minute. Coke stores. Yeah. Speaking of Snoop Dogg, just to derail this podcast even further, have you guys seen the Night Shift where Snoop Dogg plays a, a, a yes Bush with yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I, with the I'm Jamie the only one who liked it. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I like. I loved it. Everyone else hated it. Real? Mm-hmm. What? No, I thought yeah. it was enjoyable. We so tried we our best. The Bazarian brothers, I think, oh, those were the best ones. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I've I had just, uh, uh, I've had Outlaws on our to watch list for a while. Then I listened to your episode last week, and I was like, oh, maybe we won't watch that now. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's Hard cast. so yeah. bad. And the trailer was shit. the trailer was really good. And we were like, we were like, oh, that looks funny. Yeah. Like, let's watch that. And then like we heard you guys start talking about like each one of you just cut off at like a certain time stamp. And then right. and we were just, just like, uh, we're good. We don't want to yeah, watch it. I'm good. We watch so yes. much bad stuff for That's our podcast. So bad. Yeah, no, it's horrible. It's horrible. Oh. Um, but yeah, Carlos, did you have something to say? You look like you. Oh, no, something. just asking mm-hmm. if uh, they had tried George Clooney's tequila. Oh, yeah. Have you guys tried that? Not yet. It's next on our it's list. It's on our list. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what so who far, else Ryan Reynolds something? is doing all right in the booze industry. I heard he sold aviation. Um, he did sell it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so what it might not be so, as good as it used to be. We should try and get an old bottle on a new bottle. Yes, we should. Yeah. I'm yeah. So, yeah. Um, right now. so uh I don't know if any of you are wizarding world uh fanatics, uh, but Hermione oh good. Emma Watson came out with a gin and I can't find it anywhere. Mm. She and her brother started uh, a company and they created their own gin. It's called Renes or Renes or something like that. And I cannot I, find it anywhere. I've been to like five different liquor stores. I've never heard of that, but I mean, she she's English, right? So London dry gin, like it's got to be good, right? Yeah. I mean... When I go to Scotland, I'll see if I can find some. To bring it back to another Seinfeld reference, we were talking <laughs> about 
before with the logo. We're like, yada, yada, yada. Uh-huh. God, I'm so drunk right now. I forgot what I'm, I, know. I haven't eaten do- doppelgangers. I've eaten doppelgangers. That's right. Thank you, Kate. Sorrow World. I haven't had anything to eat today. Okay. The, the only thing in my stomach right Your now is. Your street cred is still alive, my great friend. Great vodka right now. Um, the, To bring it back to Seinfeld, the doppelganger thing. We have an inside joke when we found out about you guys. We were like, oh, my God. It's like the Bizarro World Jerry Seinfeld episode. Yeah. Where they great meet episode. Their <laughs> same people. And Katie's is like, yeah, one of them, there's a chick, and she's a redhead, and she likes alcohol. And I was like, get out of here. Uh-huh. And then they, and then we're, I listened to your episode. He's Elaine. Yeah. I, Do you know how many Elaines I've been in friend groups? <laughs> like like male friend. Most of my friends are dudes. But they're always like, yeah, you're our Elaine. It, it's, it happens all the time. And I'm sure it's the same thing happens to you. And then I, I listened to your guys' episode about the logo thing. And I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember which one of you said it. But somebody was like, you can look my salty balls. And I was like, oh, my God, it's Vader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lafayette. 100% that was Lafayette. I'm like, I'm like, oh, my God, they're literally the bizarro world yeah. us. Like, this is so crazy and cool. Like, I just, I'm, I'm a nerd for Seinfeld. So, like, when I put those things together, I was like, yeah. this is amazing. I need to talk to these people. Wild Turkey Bourbon. Matthew McConaughey, anybody? Not yet. Well, that's McConaughey not makes his. wild turkey? He does. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It is. Or yeah. is he is? Yeah. Oh, God, that stuff's wrong. Wait, 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 wait. How wild about turkey black has been... Black no, 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 no. American whiskey. Metallica. No, no, we're not We're not glazing over this. Matthew McConaughey and wild turkey. Wild turkey no, no, predates stop. First, Matthew no, no, McConaughey. No. So it's a different whiskey from wild turkey called Long Branch Bourbon. Oh, so it's like a, a line like a, like a, from okay. Wild. It's a Turkey. line for Matthew McConaughey no, no. called oh, Long Branch mm-hmm. of Bourbon. Okay. Okay. I just needed yeah. to clarify. It. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. And I, I love wine. I'm a red wine drinker. So I really want to try the Diane Keaton wine. <laughs> I, what, she what seems I'm like drinker. a little bit of a lush. Oh, God, so <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> when's when's Gwyneth Paltrow going to come out with a vagina? With a vagina. <laughs> a like, vagina like, wine. A vagina <laughs> energy she drink. Tastes like yeah. It does taste like Luke. It like Maybe that's that's a match. They yeah. could have a thing together. I would, I would, drink that. For um, the I would oh. too. I would buy it too just to taste the vagina flavored There's... liquor. <laughs> do you have the candle? Mm, that's oh. a good year. No. Oh, I candle. do not have oh, no. Light the candle, have yourself no. a cocktail. <laughs> Get the whole experience. Well, uh, that's gross. <laughs> okay. I also uh, have um Jay Z has a cognac. No, nobody. Right. Cognac 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 okay. Really? Let, let's yeah. let's nail down the celebrity thing. Are we talking yeah. movie celebrity or are we talking just anybody that has fame? So I mean, there's a I ton did, out there. It's ridiculous. There's 63 I did of make them. us a list, but I didn't put any bands like Metallica, yeah. and there's like a couple of other bands that like created. I don't know how much collaboration they had on the alcohol, but like celebrities that have come out and said, like, this is my brand. Like yeah. Rock and his tequila. Oh, it's trash. He, yeah, it's terrible. Uh, I don't even think there's alcohol in it. <laughs> I was gonna give it to my to my friend who doesn't drink and be just be like, you're gonna be fine with this. <laughs> I, I am pretty proud that I was able to take Jude to a uh, vineyard that was formerly owned by Francis Ford Coppola, where he made his Coppola wine. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, but know, isn't Coppola like a low? Low brand wine, like yeah, whenever I go cheap, to the grocery store, it's yeah, like a ten dollar bottle cheap. of wine. Yeah. Well, well mm-hmm. he he's got various levels of wine, so like he he does like the uh, cheap stuff, but then he's got like the really got good stuff, which is super expensive. Wait, he's does, got the really good movies. Does Nick sometimes. Cage have a foot uh, a foot in the door over there? Oh, I wish. Oh, oh I mean, he's a Coppola. crazy wine. I, I would love a Nick Cage wine. He's a Coppola, yeah. so like maybe he's got. I would drink the shit out of a Nick Cage wine. I'm just so, putting it out there, Nick Cage. Yeah. I so yeah. this, I just this want, is like a... a crazy picture of Nick Cage. Oh, on just the, on the, the bottle the label. And, like, <laughs> oh my the god. The wine's called crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so like, there's Ciroc. We all know Sean Diddy, mm-hmm. right? He's had that forever. We've all had that. Have you guys had Skinny Girl? Yeah, yeah. I tried it. Is that a celebrity? Awful. Yeah, yeah, it's is that, that Bethany. Who is it? What's her name? Bethany Frankel. No, um, fuck her. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. She's that literally made celeb. most of her I money her from once. Skinny Girl. Did you really? Mm-hmm. Is she a real wife? A real housewife of something? She's a real. Well, she's a real. <laughs> there we go. All right. Don't leave me. Who is she? I have no idea. <laughs> she's from yeah, one she's of those. Shows. She's a one of those housewives. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Robert right. De Niro well, has I didn't one. Know that. A vodka called Vodka Sixty One Hundred. Never Robert De Niro has a vodka. Dan yeah. Aykroyd. Dan, Dan Aykroyd. Dan, I was going to mention Dan Aykroyd. Oh, it's yeah, tequila. It's not bad. Yeah. 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 So our one of our ideas for content for our channel was to just do like a celebrity death mat- batch between their alcohols. Yeah. I don't know how, if we're going to get drunk to see who gets drunk faster on which alcohol. I don't know how we're going to do we it. Thought we like were a taste test. Taste test. We can do a taste test. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we, we were have trying to do to a out... spit. You're going to also going to be drunk as fuck yeah, well, by the end hey, of the day. Well, hey. 
Laura. little bucket. Come on. I got, I got, I got two. Look I got two here. more Let's for you. Let's just throw in the eggs. No spitting right. in this house. This is yeah, no. <laughs> proper, proper <laughs> number 12. We all swallow around here. <laughs> proper uh, number 12 uh, Irish whiskey by Karna McGregor. Anybody try it? No. Oh, Who man. McGregor? That I know guy's fucking McGregor. McGregor. bananas. Hey, guys. Uh, remember when we uh, got gifted a bottle of Chateau Picard at the Star Trek convention? Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Where is that? Do we it's still have my it? house. Okay, cool. Yeah. We've never opened it. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we should. It's like, that's like a reserve thing. Like yeah. just collector's edition. Yeah. 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 And then the final one here. Okay. Bring us back. Oh, you guys don't love this. Okay. Wolf Moon Bourbon by Jason Aldean. <laughs> oh. Really? Wolf Moon? I like how you tied Wolf it in. Moon. Yeah, Wolf that was yeah. the moon. That's the of the show, isn't it? Circle is well complete. That's such a Kadish move. Yeah. It is their producer. Oh, I, my God. I do have one other uh, country music thing to talk about okay. while oh. we're was... while we're on the Jason Aldean subject. And have have any of you guys uh, heard or seen any of the hubbub about Miranda Lambert? The selfie uh, thing. The selfie thing? Yeah, the selfie thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, so no she idea. has a residency here in Las Vegas, and I just thought that was a far more interesting topic than Jason Aldean being a country singer. Uh, <laughs> I just thought it was interesting that, like, when you have a residency in Las Vegas and you have like a certain tier of seating and people who paid for a VIP box, having the concert stopped and chastised those people, how alienating that is to your fans. Oh, I, I saw wait, that wait, wait, wait. you're going to have to, you're going to have to, yeah, give me, give me the, the, the lowdown because I'm not audience. familiar so for the was, moms of the world. <laughs> so there was a, uh, a social media influencer who bought a VIP box mm -hmm. and during the concert, there was like, I don't know, like maybe five women in the box during the concert. Uh, she handed her phone to somebody. I, I guess it was like a service worker or something and said, will you take a couple of pictures of us at the concert? They lined up so that Miranda was in between them so that you could see they were at the concert. Mm -hmm. And Miranda Lambert stopped the concert and said, these women are wor more worried about selfies than than listening to the song. And it's pissing me off. She stopped the concert to like chastise these women for taking a picture. Oh no. And do you she know how drunk. expensive no way. VIP boxes are in uh, Las Vegas okay, for yeah, a like residency? Grand, like a yeah, couple of grand. Thousands of dollars. Yeah. yeah. And and like obviously there's video and pictures of this happening. So everyone in the crowd had I their phones out. I saw it on Instagram. But she singled these people out who paid thousands of dollars to be at her concert who were fans of hers. And I just thought what a bitch move. Like <laughs> You're biting the hand that feeds you. Yeah. You have a residency in Las Vegas and people who paid thousands of dollars to come see your show. Like <sighs> you just made them feel like assholes and I, they walked out. I feel like it would be one thing if it was like like a, a stand up comic where it's normally like a quiet crowd and it's just like one person talking. That can be distracting for the comic yeah. to have like a bunch of people in the front row, like doing a bunch of stuff. But for a concert where like there's loud music and there's people jumping around and dancing and mm -hmm. everything like that, like that. Why wouldn't you be like, why wouldn't you get in the in the selfie and be like, look at this, bitches? Yeah, yeah, and then be like, yeah. get into it a little bit. Because self-importance like, matters. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And that's been like that's all of why. the social media, like the TikToks and everything have been like other celebrities who have seen people taking selfies, who have gotten in their yeah. selfies and who have been good sports about it yeah, yeah. versus the one person. That would endear you so much more to those people. You would think. Yeah, but yeah. Jason Aldean's song is a problem. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of red hat wearing Americans who want to take a selfie with that guy. I guarantee That's you. That's right. Yeah. I mean, so such thing as bad press. Like I mean, said. you go through his lyrics. It's sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk, carjack an old lady at a red light, pull out a gun at a liquor store. You think it's cool? Well, act the fool if you like. See, Carlos said nothing rhymed. He rhymed light and like. <laughs> so, boom, number one. Yeah, fuck that guy. Musical <laughs> genius. That's right. Um, I mean, here's the thing. The song is supposed to be taking the the, the uh, uh, topics of the day, right? What you see on the news, right? The the sucker punch somebody on the sidewalk and car jack and mm -hmm. uh, rob a liquor store. and for Whatever. Some, that was the news like two years ago. No, but see, what people are seeing is all that stuff that he's mentioning is like, that's about black people. Right. And then I, and I think that, that's racist in and of itself. Well, not just that. I, I've been listening to rap for 30 some years. So right. have that never heard a rap song? 
Right. You know, like I, I think every other rap song, someone dies. So at I the pulled, hand of the rapper. <laughs> like, so. I pulled a couple of friends who do listen to country music. And one of my friends that I pulled, she still listens to Jason Aldean. Uh, and also she's not white. So I was like, hey, do you have any thoughts on this? And she was like, yeah, people are saying it's racist and it's not. And I was like, okay, but tell me more. Like, does it, do these lyrics differ from some of his other songs? And is that why it's it's coming under fire? And she was like, well, in the last couple of years, he has gotten more patriotic in his songs. And he's also come more under the realm of pop music than country. And so I think he's getting more recognition and notoriety. So he's coming under more of a spotlight than if he were just a country singer. Pulling a Taylor Swift. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. It's it's it, from the non-country fan, you look at this song like it's it's offensive for some people, right? Because here's the reality thrown in your face of what's on the news and people don't want to hear that. That's mm -hmm. just, you know, um, and that's what it is. People just saw the lyrics and went, Oh my God. Like they are horrible. But La Lafayette, um, you said that um, you're a big rap fan. Have you ever heard of this guy, uh, Tom McDonald, I think his name. Oh is. yeah. yeah. My yeah. goodness. Tom McDonald's basically Everybody Jason the Aldean. Of... <laughs> his, I love that song. his entire genre of music is yeah. like, everything that we're talking about right now like every but, but in every form. song but in rap form every music every, every song, song that he makes is yes. like super pro i don't i don't know if i want to say conservative but just not hyper left wing like everything no. that's going on with the left wing stuff whether or not you agree with it or not doesn't really matter but like tom mcdonald his whole market is going against it's, that it's 100 percent, and it's basically it's as if trump hired him to be a personal rapper right yeah yeah right? yeah 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 trump's like wait, wait, i me don't songs. like that analogy because i fucking hate trump but i do like tom mcdonald and every so time i hear it, that though. song yeah. be the well, butthole he... song i know it's such a dumb thing but literally i always get a little teary-eyed when i hear that song i don't know it's what that says summertime. about me <laughs> wait so wait yeah. what's the song what's it called the song is literally i think called buttholes but it's like oh, everyone yeah. being everyone's being buttholes and it's just like you be you oh, like stop worrying buttholes. about everyone okay. else and like thought, it always makes me a little misty okay. i thought anytime <laughs> you went around buttholes you got misty eyed <laughs> that's all well so. you know oh, so maybe i do you so, don't know <laughs> this actually has something to do with uh jason aldean um, in our in our Discord app, somebody posted a clip, or not a clip, but like a an article from TMZ. It says Jason Aldean removes Black Lives Matter protest clip from his music video, and people are like, "Are they? Is he caving? Is he? He's admitting he's what he said." <laughs> yeah. Like oh yeah. Is, no. Yeah, I saw that. Also, what came up was half of the protest videos in his video were from Canadian truckers. The whole thing that happened in Canada, oh, they weren't that even. That was some dark shit. Oh, yeah, but, related, but they yeah. weren't even yeah. related to anything in America. It was related to the Canadian truckers, and yeah, and people were like, "That's not even in America. What's that Everybody guy doing?" Everybody knows there are no small towns in Canada. Canada, that's true. There are no small towns, and 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 he's not from a small town. That's confusing too. He's mm. from what? I think he's from. Is he from Georgia or something like that? He's from Atlanta. I don't know. Is he a poser? Are any of these? He is a oh, poser. One hundred percent. If you guys, I don't remember the name of the comedian, but he's got this uh, bit about um, pandering, country music pandering. Uh -huh. uh, it's like a music video. Have you guys seen that? I'm going to find the name of it real, real quick. But it is so fucking funny, and it is so country music. I'm looking it up right now. All right, you do that. We'll take a break here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. We Bo right Burnham's. Back. Sorry. Good God, oh. Laura. Scared the shit out of everybody. She would not let the producer I, do his I, job. I'm not going to let it go. That's a Jude nope. thing to do. <laughs> okay, you, did you find it? Bo Burnham. Country oh, music. Bo, Look I it up. Bo Burnham. Yeah. Oh, I that's on his Netflix special. Yes. I knew yep. him back when he did the, when he was like a young teenager doing the serials character song that he wrote like i was introduced to him like a long time ago i knew it before it was cool <laughs> i'm so oh, well there you know. go congratulations <laughs> bless your heart hey you know what somebody have a drink for that uh he knew him before oh, there he's he having, he's having a drink himself alex oh, all yeah. right we'll take a break here on nurse talking to podcast we'll be right back after this 
Hi there, this is Tom from the DPA. You're probably wondering what the DPA does. Well, when someone sends you a picture of someone's genitals, such as a man's, we analyze it. We can tell you exactly where it's from, what race, the height of said man, and the accuracy of the picture if it's from that individual. That's right, dick pic analysis. The DPA has been around for many years. We've tested the program over and over, even on our own dicks, and we guarantee that it works 8% of the time. That's right, the only DPA program that actually works 8% of the time. You might send us a dick, we look at the pic, and we think, meh, could be. There's no real computers. It's just three guys in a room staring at dicks. We've had many years of experience, and we promise you that we'll get you an answer to what you want to know. Do you want to know if that person can cook? Do you want to know their occupation? Do you want to know how tall they are? If they're fat, skinny, and if they use OnlyFans? We'll know by just their picture, and we'll guarantee 8% accuracy. That's right, the DPA. A, dick Pick Analysis. Go to our website at dickpicanalysis.com, upload your information and a picture, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. That's DPA, dickpicanalysis.com. Don't be scared. Go ahead and share. The DPA is not responsible for lost photos that you may have sent us, and we accidentally forward them to our friends. We do share information. None of this stuff is secret. It all goes public. 8% accuracy is a little high, but we can at least tell you the color of the dick that you sent us. We'll even measure it to our own dicks. Usually they're bigger. Not our dicks, but the pictures. Dick Pick Analysis. Not a real thing. Nerds talking the podcast. Back to the show. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. Remember to rate, subscribe, review, turn on notifications, tell your friends every Friday new episodes of Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Johnny, Carlos, Laura, Alex, Jude, and Matt from the Salty Nerds. Hey, you guys want to plug your show? Like all places they can get it and uh, your your uh, social media? Uh, You can listen to our podcast pretty much on every single podcast platform. Spotify is the place to be. We also have a video on Spotify. So if you're into the video podcasting, we do upload video on that platform. Uh, We are mainly on YouTube. We do live streams every Tuesday and Saturday. Also, um, we have extra, extra content. Uh, not only in YouTube members area, but also on Patreon as well. We do exclusive content that you cannot get anywhere else on both of those two platforms. And I set up um, domain names to make it really easy for people to find our, He's our, so proud of our, himself. our ahead, content. Dude. And Alex always forgets to mention this. SaltyNerdLive.com <laughs> <laughs> uh, is for our live streams. Uh, SaltyNerdClub.com is for our Patreon. Do we have one for members? Well, we have saltynerdvideo.com for which, YouTube, which is YouTube, takes yeah. you right to our YouTube channel. And then saltynerdpodcast.com takes you to whatever device you uh, you use. So like if you use Apple, it takes you to Apple Podcasts. That's if right. you use uh, Android, it takes you to Spotify. It's too many. Yeah. It is too many, but I I set them up for a reason, goddammit. <laughs> so we're going to use them. So nobody else can have them. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Um, I think Carlos runs everything on that end. Carlos, what do you have? Uh for our for everything we push out uh just all the podcast platforms we are on youtube just not video it's audio only but I, we only have i think 30 plus episodes on there because like you said i do everything it's exhausting yeah so i yeah. only do so much yeah i mean you can always or, have johnny do some stuff yeah, and you, he couldn't figure out his microphone today, so <laughs> that is true. <laughs> maybe you could should, you imagine? Maybe she had outsourced this shit you know, again. That should first... be the YouTube show. You just figuring out your. Have microphone. you thought about using Fiverr? <laughs> no, oh, that's right. <laughs> you know what we can do? Just thought about this. You guys send us your video. We will scrub the audio and then put our audio on top, just like the logo. <laughs> Yeah, so, we, yeah, let's just steal your we'll podcast. Steal the too. whole thing. <laughs> just, yeah. Take it all. You, you know, we'll for just, the first, we'll, you know. it's the nerds talking studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it's uh, the salty you know, nerds talking. So you know, it's funny because I I went to film school, you know, and made some movies in Hollywood. And uh, when we first started our podcast, I was like, these guys aren't doing anything right. I have to do it all myself. And then uh, I just got overwhelmed, and finally I was like, screw it, Alex, you can take over. Yeah, and I, I've listened. I in the past <laughs> four years, five years that we've been doing this. I've gone from not knowing jack shit about editing, audio mastery, video mastery, any of that stuff, to now doing it as a part-time job. So, yeah. I mean, that's something, you know? I'm yeah. pretty proud of that. I wouldn't want Kadish as my boss. It's it's interesting, but <laughs> as long as I do job. my shit, that's as long as I'm is. on point, 
he usually doesn't complain, so it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. There Mike, you go, Alex, so. let me show you everything you're doing wrong. Yeah, that does. I get it every once in a while. If I fuck something up enough, I get an index card with notes on it of all the shit that I need to fix, and I'm like, God damn it! That's yeah, usually Carlos, how you learn, you though. Notes? This, is, this is how you get people to do stuff for you. Yeah, you gotta yeah. delegate. You gotta delegate. Okay, so as long as we're plugging shows, I feel like this is a good time to yeah. announce. So in polite society, my podcast, my me and my co-host Rachel, uh, we took a break for some time for momming. Both her and I uh, had newborns at the same time, and we are getting ready to relaunch. So everyone should check out in polite society podcast. Season one is already out out there on Spotify, Apple, wherever you get your pods. No YouTube. We ain't fancy. Uh, but uh, season two coming soon. Uh, and so I'm really excited about that. And go on, take a look. Was well, Rachel, our on, old catalog. Was Rachel on your episode where you reviewed The Flash? No, that no. was oh, Marie. No, Marie. No, Marie. Don't no. know. Marie mm-hmm. is an old cast member of ours that her brain works sporadically. <laughs> doesn't always stay on and like it needs to be triggered with with keywords and then she'll blurt like five words out and then say something completely off topic and was it impolite this... society talking yeah, impolite society, society podcast talking tackling the tobacco what is that is this it tackling yes that's tackling okay. the taboo one okay. rude topic at a time that's yes. it. Oh, the taboo yes. i thought it said tobacco okay follow um uh, <laughs> follow it on spotify reading uh, dude i have had nothing to eat except for vodka so yeah i'm toasted at the moment this is great i'm having such a good time right now <laughs> so we'll move into social <laughs> media happiest i've ever been guys <laughs> <That's true. laughs> like uh so um social media we have more now because we mm. need more Right. And do you guys have threads? Like you no, guys incorporate I that do. yet? Do you? You, you do. do, don't you? You glut. Of course I do. You... <laughs> now do you he's have the podcast threads? guy? He's the but producer. Of course he has someone threads. Someone has to. But Matt, do yep. you have threads? Because Instagram kind of forced it on you because it kind of did. No, it kind of oh. you I'm know. A, uh, I'm a big user of Instagram. Does that mean I automatically have a threads account? You, you do. don't, but if, you, do if and you, don't. you create yeah, you do a and you threads don't. account and decide you don't like it, you can't delete it because it will delete your Instagram account. <gasps> yes, they're linked. They are linked what? because what it yeah. does, it takes your Instagram username and all your login information and just imports it into threads. Oh, fuck that. Right? The difference I... between threads and Twitter is threads gives you a 500 letter count to use. Oh, who gives a shit? I, yeah, look, yeah. I'm, I'm a big instagram user especially for our podcasts um a lot of the interviews that we've gotten with celebrities has been me just hanging out with them on instagram Mm -hmm. like commenting on their stories or their posts and being like into those dms slide into those dms Mm -hmm. and they're like hey oh that's great i didn't know you guys were talking about my show and i'm like yeah here's a link to our video and they love it and then we we build a relationship and then over time i'm like hey would you like to come on as a guest and like talk about your show and they're like oh yeah that'd be great so like Instagram is a big part of how we've been able to communicate and grow our podcast. And I'm not downloading threads now because I'm never going to use it. And if they're going to like hold it over my head, like, no, thank you. Sir. So thread is basically Instagram, Twitter. That's all it is. That's literally what it is. It's Well, it's, the, the, the thing you know. about threads is that it's specifically designed to be like a quote unquote safe space. They don't allow any talking of politics or controversial topics or anything like that because they just want it to be lighter and funner as like an alternative to Twitter where basically you get into like, you know, the muck. Uh, anything goes yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so like on uh, base, basically it's a highly curated highly censored um social media app for people who don't want to deal with the political bs out there who has and... threads we'll go around the horn johnny no carlos mm-hmm. all right i have it for the show <laughs> carlos has it laura threads no, I do not, but I've thought about picking it up because new social platforms is a great place to grow audience, right? So you're on there, you haven't had anybody, you don't have very people to follow. So, I, well, that is assuming that it doesn't port over absolutely everybody from Instagram. I thought about it basically. Yeah. But uh, it's not, really a, like but a, lot it's not of really a new audience when you think it's not. Yeah. I mean, well, that that's exactly what I'm thinking. It's like, no, yeah. wait, if it's it ports same. everybody over, never mind. I, ironically, Threads is a lot more like the old Instagram before like video kind of took over because like a lot of people go on there and they just post pictures in their Threads account and you're scrolling through, through you're scrolling through Threads and you're like, 
wow, there's a lot of cool pictures on here. <laughs> it's, it's that like, really wow. is what Threads is. Yeah, Threads yeah, is basically much. just a bunch of pictures. That's Instagram all. without reels, basically. Is well, it's that because what whatever it you're posting on Instagram, you're going to post on Threads. And that's literally that's all people are doing. They're not really using it's it like so Twitter. Stupid. And Twitter has opened up. Now Elon Musk is anything goes. So I should say X. I keep saying Twitter. <laughs> well, X. I'm going to keep calling it Twitter. Um, yeah, me too. <laughs> just for ease of use. But uh, yeah, Twitter has been making some very big changes under the hood that a lot of people have been sleeping on. Like it's it's becoming a video platform uh, to rival YouTube. Uh, it's actually doing um, rev share with uh, creators. So people are actually making money off their tweets. It's got subscription um, elements to it now. Uh, basically, Elon wants to turn it into the everything app. So pretty soon you're going to be able to integrate payment systems with it. So you can pay for your groceries with, instead of using your credit card, you can use uh, X or whatever. Um, and it is going to go high, highly AI. Yeah. That's Dogecoin. Dogecoin is going to be a part of it. Crypto. Oh, yeah. How much Dogecoin does Carlos I have? Thought it, I thought crypto died. <laughs> Isn't yeah, that thing? Three billion. <laughs> How much? <laughs> Seriously, what Dogecoin. Is this, what is no, not you. You don't have you Dogecoin. This is the other one you have. You have three yeah. billion of. What's it oh, called? Oh, Shiba. 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 <laughs> but I have 5,000 Dogecoin, so I'm rich. I'm rich, bitch. Yes, times that by what? Seven cents? <laughs> and you're doing pretty good. Here's 35 bucks. All right. <laughs> So yeah, no, it's uh yeah, that was a rage. We went through a whole crypto rage on our show where we're buying it up and it didn't quite work out. Mm. Yes. Wow. Uh, I haven't I haven't checked wow. the value of my NFT yet. <laughs> oh, your one NFT you have? My one NFT. The one? Yes, yes. The good old and NFTs were so I, sad. I think so everyone sad. went through their crypto phase. You uh, went yeah. Yeah. I, I I went deep I... down. Well, the whole thing about nfts um as collectibles like you know um, the whole art thing the board ape yacht club and all that stuff i i think that that fad has kind of gone by but nfts as a technology is actually going to keep growing you know we even looked into creating nfts for each one of our podcasting episodes and uh, giving them to fans and stuff like that each episode wow yeah but it's pretty smart though i mean and if you're right because you could package nfts they can listen to the show and so forth and i mean for that that's a great benefit you know but Carlos, you're going to say something about NFTs? Yeah, the very first tweet was turned into an NFT and sold for $2.4 million when NFTs were hot. It recently re-auctioned for a whopping $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me he still made money. Uh, Good for him. Good for him. Yeah, no, social media. I mean, do we need more of it? That's the thing. Can we even keep up? You know, that's the main. Well, I, I think the issue with social media is the censorship issue. That's where it really comes down to. So we need more social media where we're allowed to actually engage and speak our mind without worrying about getting like our accounts banned. Um, and the big tech social media stuff like, you know, Meta and, and Google and all this other stuff, they're so oppressive. Like you just never know where you stand with them. Like you, you could be playing by the rule book one day and the next day they change something in their terms of service and all of a sudden you're banned for life and there's like no recourse, you know? So I, I feel like, um, you, you know, all the stuff that came out with the Twitter files where it showed that the government was actively like telling social media companies who they wanted banned and the social media companies were forced to like do it. And otherwise they'd get investigated up the wazoo and lose their, that um, was the Hunter Biden bullshit, right? That was well, all I mean, I mean, that, that. that. Well, that was part of it. Um, but okay. a lot of, a lot of it was basically uh, with the vaccine stuff where, uh, people who were basically speaking out about the dangers of certain things and like where the virus came from, types of things. Um, that was an issue. We don't, yeah, but, but, but that, that was the thing is basically, you know, the Twitter files exposed the fact that the government was targeting people that were saying stuff they didn't like and forcing the, the big tech companies to delete them essentially. And so like, I just feel like, yes, we need more, free social media in terms of like what Elon was doing with Twitter, where, you know, he basically made it a free speech platform. Um, you do need some protections on that stuff to, you know, keep the really e evil people. Kind of like so who here has been side, banned but... on Twitter? Anybody? Johnny? I banned no. myself. Did you banned yourself? <laughs> you just got herself off of Twitter. Uh, Matt yeah, banned I don't on Twitter. Twitter anymore. Um, I've gotten my account suspended a few times, but mm. I mean, mm. that was under the old Twitter regime. So, yeah. but I haven't yeah. been, I haven't had any trouble on Twitter for like decades, but oh, okay. I, I feel I feel like Alex. Uh, I was gonna say, Alex, have you been banned or suspended never, on Twitter? I haven't been banned. I easily could be. 
but I yeah. don't use the platform enough. Oh, so, uh, yeah. So like you don't yes. have enough followers to make you <laughs> worth their time. Right. Well, they I look mean, at like, your followers. Meh, no one knows he even said that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that too. They're like, Oh, you have a hundred followers, get out of here, you you pleb. But yeah. in a couple of years, they're gonna backlog your shit and be like, Okay, what did he say I, ten years ago? I spend zero amount of time trying to grow my Twitter followers. Uh I, I, I just I post it mostly just to keep up with Vader who posts things on the official account and be like, Bro, what you doing? Um <laughs> but stop starting Twitter wars. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, Instagram, like I don't post anything. I, I like when we started our our podcast and it, it's still kind of it's it's part of an integral part of our podcast is like i don't really want to delve into politics when i'm in when i'm doing content for people because like one of the main reasons why i started the podcast was back in 2015 2016 i was like a big consumer of movie related content like collider video and uh, a bunch of these other people that kind of like in that sphere um chris harloff and all those guys and um, I realized, like, after, for whatever reason, and whether you like Trump, I know, Lori, you said you hate Trump. That's totally fine. Like, I don't really care. It doesn't, whatever. Trump is tr what Trump is. But when he got elected, like, I feel like a collective switch was short-circuited in our culture. And I was listening to movie reviews, and people were, instead of talking about the movie, were just talking about Trump for, like, 15 minutes. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I don't give a shit. I'm here to talk yeah. about whatever this movie was. Yeah. And totally. One of the reasons why I started the podcast was because I want people to talk about the movie or the TV show that I'm interested in. I don't care. It's an I'm, escape. I don't care. It's a, exactly. It's an escape for people. It's like when I'm done looking at all the nonsense with Trump and with the Biden and with all those nonsense, I want to escape and go hang out with my friends and talk about this movie that I just watched. I don't want that stuff creeping into it. So when I started the podcast, I was like, no politics, no nothing. So it's kind of, it's hard for me to get canceled on these platforms because I, I pretty much stick to that. Like I really try hard not to do anything remotely political on our, on our official accounts, especially on Instagram and stuff like that, or Facebook. And that's usually what they target. When they censor people, it almost always has to do with political stuff. And because I don't really mess with that stuff, I don't really have to deal with it. So it yeah, we it don't, we don't cover politics almost never. Because we tried it, and one of our original hosts got so upset that he quit the show. Oh. <laughs> he got so enraged that he uh, uh, he didn't know he no longer wanted to be on the show. Wow! Um, yeah. I, so I, my experience with online censorship has mostly been in relation to the Impolite Society uh, TikTok account because that was the the platform that we had the most followers on and we got censored and banned on uh, like you know the seven day ban or whatever on a pretty regular basis and it was because I mean the topics that we cover were taboo so it was the things that people don't really like to talk about which was you know um poop and race <laughs> and and wait did you say poop and then you said race literally you went poop. from poop to race that's poop the that's race. the spectrum and, like, right there all the different kinds of stuff that we that we would cover and and one time i think i think we got partially banned because i put a cartoon dick in one of our like oh. our, uh, our animations mm. and we got censored all the time yeah, or be. shadow yeah. banned on instagram the chinese because... government doesn't like cartoon dicks right? oh <laughs> <laughs> because... I mean, well, yeah, how big was it? Said the same thing yeah. because TikTok is, uh, you know, not owned by a, a U.S. entity, but it was still very jarring because it's like the the context matters with everything, and that's yeah. why censorship is so upsetting because you can't mass censor with content with context. You have to, you know, create an algorithm that filters for certain things and gets rid of every nuance discussion. And so all you're doing is just creating this blanket of we don't talk about Hitler, you know, and we we had a, a, a part about sex dolls and about the origin of sex dolls. And one of the rumors about sex dolls was that it started in World War II under Hitler's regime. And, and 
it was just bizarre to me that they muted and took that off. It's like, I'm not, I'm not promoting Nazism. I'm talking about <laughs> well, history. That, that's kind of the beauty of podcasting though, right? Because podcasting is decentralized unlike yes. these video platforms. So like uh, podcasting, I feel, is, is the last bastion of true free speech because you can say whatever you want and, no. and you can just have it on like your own server somewhere and people can get access to it if they want to. It's, I don't know. There's certain corners in Compton, California. People say whatever the hell they want. So <laughs> they, just, they just yell it out when I drive by. I mean, it seems fine out there. I mean, but yeah, no, I mean, Twitter is, they, they actually banned my account permanently. And then when they gave it back to me, when Elon took over, it went to zero followers, zero everything. It was just zero. And I was like, what do I want this back for? I already started another one when you banned me the first time. <laughs> so, yeah. So it was pretty. Uh, I got banned for telling Marjorie Taylor Greene that she's a retarded cunt. And um, they didn't like that. So I like the language. Yeah. But it was the truth. So, you know. You got to say hurts. it with an Australian accent, then it's okay. Oh, uh, yeah. That is true. That's the key. Yeah, yeah that is the key. Yeah. Or some, or you got to sound or, like or a, an Irish accent. Yeah, what are you doing, yeah. a fucking cunt? Yeah, and then they'll be like, "It's fine." He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's, it's fine. fine. They're Irish. Oh yeah. shit! I like the word "cunt." It's just normal to them. It's a great word. I wish I could yeah. use it in everyday sentences. It's a great. It's such a fucking good word. Oh my god! That's I why you replace, replace the word "cunt." You are being a bit of a cunt. Listen, you well. fucking retard. You've got to stop fucking doing that shit. Okay. Like it's when you say it like that, it yeah. just works. It's not offensive. Accent yeah. matters. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Cunt. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Oh, it's too Fantastic. hard when you say it like that. No, I like to say it hard. I like to say <laughs> you, it like have to, you have to it's say not, it with the yeah, accent. You can't the do the hard tea. cunt. The, okay. yeah, the you can't do the hard cunt. It has the to be the soft sound, cunt. The, uh, you got you to do it with yeah. a, uh, yeah. a fucking cunt. Coot. Like, what are you doing? Fucking cunt. You spell it C-O-O-T. That's it. Cunt. 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 You fucking cunt. Ooh, can't, I ooh. wonder if they would censor you if you call somebody that, but you spelled it with C-O-O-N-T. Try that. You know, Johnny, Call can you say Dean it? Coots. Johnny, no, say I, it. No, I'm good. No. I, I'm just. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Come on, say cunt. You cunt. Ah, he doesn't want to say it. He's shy. Nah. <laughs> He's shy. All he heard was sex dolls and wants to continue talking about that. That is a fascinating oh, yeah, that, story. That's all I, I want to hear. Google that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a two-parter <laughs> episode. Check it out. Okay, we will do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's and how lastly, she gets you to follow. That that's true. right. I know. Hey, lastly, oh, go ahead. No, you're good. Go ahead. Jump in. What, what, gonna like, what if sex dolls were designed by Nazis? And you'd be like, I'm gonna watch <laughs> the shit on the show. <laughs> That's a Netflix blonde haired and no. blue eyed. <laughs> That's an exploitation film from the 70s, That's Nazi right. sex dolls. Yeah. It brings, you know it exists out there. You just know it does. Uh no, so for lastly, we're gonna go around the horn. You guys, what are you watching? What do you recommend? Uh what are you excited to, about seeing coming up? So we're gonna go around the horn. We'll start with Johnny. Johnny, what are you excited about seeing coming up, and what are you watching? Uh, right now, I'm watching Warrior. Um, it's one of the ones where I'm uh faithfully watching every week, and then after I watch it, I listen to the Salty Nerds podcast oh, at volume you. sixty. Nice. Turn it up higher. <laughs> you need to go a little bit higher. Crank it up, baby. Yeah, yeah crank it up. <laughs> Crank it up. All right. And and anything you, is coming up that you are excited to watch? Movies that might be coming out? And, uh, maybe something in the theaters now that you want to go see? I think the only thing that I'm excited to see is Oppenheimer. That's probably the only gotcha. thing out right now. As long as you've got three hours, you're good. So, Ooh. all right. Let's jump over to Alex. What are you watching? What are you excited to see? You uh, saw Oppenheimer, didn't you? I did see Oppenheimer. Uh, it was... A Christopher Nolan movie. Was it very long? It was very long. <laughs> Is it better it than very, Tenet? Because I'm pretty sure when you watch yeah. Tenet, you walked out going, did I, what, what happened? Oh. Yeah, it was more, I'll say it was more digestible than Tenet. There Tenet was go. like something that you really had to sit on and go like, what the fuck did I just watch? Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, Oppenheimer was a bit easier to digest, although it was very long. And um, as Christopher Nolan does, he always overdoes his music in comparison to his dialogue. That's just his thing. It's it's wow. Like, yeah, I'm here wow. for it. I like it. <laughs> I mean, if you I, yeah, I like if, it. if you're a fan of Christopher Nolan and you know what you're getting into when you walk in, you're gonna enjoy Oppenheimer. It's not a bad movie, um, but if you're not a fan of Christopher Nolan and you find some of his tendencies annoying, you're gonna be annoyed for three hours. So just be aware. Um, uh, what am I watching? Um, so of course I'm watching Warrior, like you guys said, because we're covering it and and we have some inside friends uh, that are actually producing the show. So 
Uh, yes, I am watching Warrior. I thoroughly enjoy that movie or so TV good. show. It's such a great show. It's one of the best things on streaming right now. I know there's a lot of crap out there. Uh, and when I say crap, I don't mean like it's a shitty movie. Like there's a lot of that, but like just there's so much stuff to consume on streaming services. The Black Demon. The Black Demon. <laughs> it's so hard to choose. Like, what am I going to spend my time watching? Because everybody's time is valuable. Um, but Warrior is well worth your time. Um, if you have kids, Laura, if you have kids, I'm I'm sure. Are you a fan of Bluey? Uh, we have not watched Bluey in this house. We are very firmly on the Super Mario Brothers train right now. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Super Mario Brothers is on repeat on my TV. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. But Bluey's I, a delight. Bluey is incredible. If you have kids, watch Bluey. Bluey. It's safe. It's Australian. Mm -hmm. It's funny even for adults like my wife and i like when the kids go to bed i'm like hey we got like 10 minutes left on that episode you want to finish it yeah. hell yeah we do. <laughs> um, so check that show out if you have kids even if you don't i mean it's still just a delight to watch it's such a great show uh what else am i watching oh can i make can i can i break an announcement on your podcast for my 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 people here in studio yeah go for it because yeah. i'm yes. freaking out about something I'm, over there What's I'm, happening? I'm gonna get a reaction out of these guys okay i, th I feel uh -oh. like we probably should have uh -oh. some video but um invasion season two has been announced for august august 23rd the end of the month invasion season two is dropping on apple, apple tv, TV. everyone apple tv we're yes. reviewing the shit out of that dude get I ready watch that before i watch foundation no problem uh, i'm not gonna fight for you. those of you who don't know we reviewed the first season of invasion it's so apple bad TV. it's so bad i've heard it's bad i heard it's yeah i've heard it's you, bad you, you, yeah. you should watch our reviews instead of the actual show because it's probably better our, right? our reviews are far more entertaining than <laughs> yeah is. i heard invasion so is horrible but they, yeah, they, they pulled yeah. this infamous bait and switch where basically they cast sam neill who's yep. been one of alex's favorite actors because he was in jurassic park yes sir we watched the show because, because sam, sam neill was in it. it and they killed him in the first episode and we never saw him again and i was oh, like oh snap that's what? Shit. every episode we were like so is he coming back no <laughs> and it's not a spoiler because the show is awful it's, it's so bad, so bad. <laughs> no it looks awful that. in the previews i mean yeah, it was yeah. so bad, it looks, it looks so bad. Looks, looks we're awful. typically we're a fan of apple tv shows like uh um c c well Severance. C, ted lasso is really good ted, ted lasso is really good yeah. The crowded, um, what is the crowd of the quest? Mythic Quest is one of oh, the best comics. Oh, it's so good. good. So yeah, Mythic good, Quest right? is so Apple good, TV yeah. just does not promote their shows. Yeah. So nobody knows about it's these. It's sink things. or swim for their shows. Yeah. So they're like little hidden gems once in a while. But we went into Invasion thinking, like, this is going to be freaking cool, man. It's Apple TV, yes. aliens, Apple TV. It's going to be highly produced. It was a trash TV show. Yeah. It was so dumb and so ridiculous. But that was one of our most popular videos that we made at the time. Like they would get thousands and thousands of views and people would be like, Oh my God, you guys are hilarious. So like over the past, what has it been like two years now? Yeah. Over the past two years, it's been we've, so peaceful. we've jokingly been like, Oh my God, I can't wait for invasion season two. And I, uh, Vader just DM'd me a link to the trailer. And I was like, go to bed. Oh my God. I cannot wait to get back into invasion with you guys. <laughs> yeah. It looks horrible. It it's looks absolutely horrible. Great. And I was at I was at San Diego Comic Con, and they had the thing plastered on buildings. Yeah, wow. Like, like yeah. invasion season two, and I was like, oh, I should I should Stop evade trying that. Trying to make invasion like, happen, dude. They had people swimming in space, and that's not an exaggeration. That's <laughs> awesome. They totally. had <laughs> astronaut in space right. in a spacesuit. <laughs> swimming towards her spaceship and, and, and her girlfriend oh. kept watching her weird tiktok video yeah. <laughs> okay we're gonna have to some so yeah, okay laura your job is to watch that whole thing uh, um and then right yeah, that's, it for, that's it for me on my end go watch right. Louie and uh, watch warrior and if you dare to watch invasion, invasion season season watch our, our reviews watch our reviews. there you go laura what are you watching and what are you excited to watch well, I went to the movies this weekend, Red oh, Letter Day. Congratulations. Uh, I saw uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Mission Impossible. Okay. Um, review coming, I assume, on uh, Nerds Shocking at a later date once it hits streaming. We've all seen I, it. We've all seen it. Yeah, we've well, all seen it. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you, Laura. Do formally on the next episode okay okay i'm not gonna get ahead of ourselves uh and but then i came home and i watched the flash because as we established i did i never go to the movies waited for it to hit 
waited for it to hit streaming. That's on streaming already? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got Three weeks it. later. I had to watch that. And <laughs> it was a shit show. You guys <laughs> nailed it. Uh, Lafayette, Carlos, Johnny, you guys nailed it. It was a shit show. Michael Keaton was the best part of that movie. Every one of his fight scenes was grade A. Everything else was shit. Uh, and then what I'm looking forward to, um, Justified City Primeval. Ooh. Justified was a show on FX. Fucking loved it. And they have a mini series that I just dropped, I think last week or this week. And, uh, I'm waiting for the downloads. My husband downloads them in like groupings. So I'm really excited about seeing that. Timothy Oliphant is... God bless Mr. Mm. O. That's what I call him. He is one of my top guys. Very, very sexy. Show, show us your O you. face. <laughs> oh, Mr. O, show me your O face. Yes, please. All right, there we go. Now on to Jude. What are you watching? What are you excited to watch? Uh, I am not excited for Invasion Season 2. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're obviously watching Warrior. We've been watching Warrior since Season 1. We love it. Highly recommend it. It's a fantastic show based on uh, the writings, the of writings Lee. of Bruce Lee that was found after his death. Like this was the show that Kung Fu was supposed to be. Uh, his daughter is executive producing on it. And uh, it's a fantastic show. It's probably the best Kung Fu series that has ever been on television. It's so good. I can't highly recommend it enough. Um, awesome. Uh, so there's a show that Kadish and I have been watching. It's a horror show called From, uh, and uh, they just ended season two, and it's a really good, creepy uh, series about people just like on a road trip and people from all over on a road trip, and this mystical thing happens where you're in your car and you're driving, and then you see this fallen tree, and then you see this thing over here, and once you see these two or three things you end up in this town that you can't escape from. And at night, monsters come out, but the monsters all look human. It's from the creators of Lost, but they do seem to know where they're going with it. And it's super, super creepy. And if you like horror, I can't recommend that enough also. There's two what, seasons. That what is streaming? that on? Yeah. Is that uh, on Stars? Paramount Plus? MGM Plus. MGM Plus. There you go. No one has it, but okay. okay. <laughs> MGM Plus. Wow. Called From. Yeah, no, I've I, there's I've seen some billboards all over LA about it because yeah. I think the lead actor, one of the actors, is from Lost. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, Harry yeah. Perrino. Yeah. Really yeah. good and, show. And anything coming up that you're excited for, like maybe um, a movie or anything. Last or... Voyage of the Demeter. Oh, oh yeah. that looks fantastic. August 11th. We're going to go see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That does look like yeah. a fun 100%. one. 100%. Yeah. So we're doing August. We Every August, we do August Bites, and we devote uh, all of August to things that bite. So usually it's either sharks or vampires. So we're doing <laughs> we're doing heavy sharks this month, but yeah. we're taking a break to do uh, the Demeter. Yeah, that's for right. sure. But you're yeah. right. The beginning of August, Meg 2. Yep. That's Fuck good. Yeah, call. so good now, call. There's, there's a, there's a, Jude hates the Meg, but we have a deal. We have a bet slash deal where if I listen to and or read both Meg one and two books, mm-hmm. um, then I can make I her was go. a book. Yeah, there's it's two a, books. It's a whole series. There's whole thing. five books. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm actually I'm really enjoying. Can you read too, though? I'm actually really enjoying the first book. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, so it, so it the came Meg out books. Like the, the Meg books were Jude's. One of some of Jude's favorite novels. I love this. And series. when she saw the Jason Statham adaptation, <laughs> she literally a, a part of her broke. I was never the theater <laughs> enraged. It's and completely anyone who different. Likes it, anyone yeah. who likes it, I'm like, I cannot be friends with you because you don't understand what's good. But the yeah. sequel looks so much better. People keep now, telling me two that, sharks. But I refuse to even watch the trailer. <laughs> but if he will read the first two books, that way he will be on my level mm-hmm. with why I'm upset. I get it. About I already. I'm, I'm in like chapter I'll eleven on I this. I mean, first can book. you imagine them sitting around the sequel? What do you guys think? Two. I know it's part two. No, two sharks, bro. No, Fuck, it's three. Yes, you it's did three it. Sharks. Yes, yeah, three sharks. Did I? It is um, three sharks. Yeah. Holy shit! They jumped the shark I on that one. Three sharks. All right. Yeah, we have a bet going on with about the Meg. But yeah, August August is like Jude's birthday month. And whenever it's your birthday month on our show, you get to pick like two weeks out of the year uh, to just like whatever movie you want to pick. Or like just four or whatever. Or whatever. <laughs> but like because Jude and I are like, 
we have a soft spot for um like shark movies and stuff like that. So we're like, let's do August because that's also when uh, Shark Week on Discovery yeah. comes out. It's kind of like a whole theme. Yeah. So every year we just pick shark movies and or vampire movies and or werewolf so movies. I'm looking forward to watching The Shallows because I've never seen it before. It's a really good movie. Shallows didn't, is really good. That bite, uh, it's the thing that bites month. Didn't yeah. Shark Week already start? Because yeah. They yeah. Have- that's, yeah. okay, that's what I thought. Okay, that's what I thought. All right. Well, Carlos, what are you watching? What are you excited to watch? Well, I'm with Alex with Bluey. My son loves yeah. Bluey. I sit and watch with him all the time. Heck yeah. It's the Australian accents get me, man. They just, yeah. just love to them talk. Dude, is Bandit not like the best dad ever? I love that guy. Oh, yeah. I, I want to <laughs> hang out with Bandit. Yeah. Every time uh, Bluey says cunt, it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> the best part, for sure. <laughs> Uh, but what I'm watching is Star Trek, Strange New Worlds. Nice. I enjoy it. It picks up. I mean, season three is better than season two. But it's a good show. And they recently did a crossover with Star Trek Lower Decks. Mm. I wish they brought the two char- two main characters over from the cartoon world into the real world. And at the end, they switch. They become real. Or the Star Trek Strange New Worlds become cartoons when they go back. So it's pretty cool. I enjoy that. Um, Rebecca Romaine is uh, number one. I uh, didn't recognize her at first, maybe because she's a little older and a little little chubbier. Um, but I'm also watching Special Ops. Whatever. <laughs> I don't believe that she's chubby. On Paramount Lies. Plus. Special, what is it called? Special Ops, Lioness. Was, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. just With, dropped. Uh, yes. uh, Zoe Saldana. <gasps> yeah, thank you. That's right. It looks really good, yeah. 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 Is that a yeah, weekly so thing, or they dropped it all at once? No, no, two episodes first, then it's weekly. Ah, okay, gotcha, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And anything coming up that you want to watch? I want to see um, The Exorcist. Oh, oh yes, yeah, they the just Pope's dropped Exorcist? the trailer today. No, no, they no. dropped the trailer for the brand new Exorcist movie that's connected to the original Exorcist. Yeah. Exorcist oh. Believer? Is believer, yes, and it looks believer. flipping awesome. Really? Yes, yes. yes. You're on your own with that one, Jude. Yeah. I know, I Oh, know. I'll be watching that. Right. Too. No I way in hell wants... I'm bringing that evil upon me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that evil off of me, yep. Ricky Bobby. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All and right. the Marvels. I'm looking forward to the Marvels. Oh, yes, the Marvels, which is uh, should pick up where, what's it, is it called Secret Invasion? Oh, no. Uh, just ended uh, this week. Secret Invasion on Disney Plus. If you guys are Marvel fans, all right, let's move on to Matt. Matt, what are you watching? And what are you looking forward to? All right, I got two things that uh, I want to recommend for watching, and a uh, couple things that I'm looking forward to. So the first one is an adaptation of a book series that I absolutely loved. Uh, it was from an independent author named Hugh Howey, and it was adapted on Apple TV. It's called Silo. So good. It's a uh, kind of dystopian future thing about these it's people fantastic. who live in this like huge silo underground because something happened where the world is unlivable. And it's kind of like a murder mystery, but it's also a big conspiracy theory and all types of fun stuff. It's an excellent, excellent TV show. Definitely worth checking out. And read the books if you like reading yeah. books. It's an intense show. It gives me anxiety, but I really can't stop watching it. Oh, it's, it's great. It's so yeah. good, yeah. It's got uh, Tim Robbins and Common in it and Rebecca Ferguson from mm-hmm. Mission Impossible and uh, and other stuff. Um, the other thing that we were watching, in fact, we just finished it the other night, and if you're a podcast fan, uh, you're, you're going to love this one. So it, it's a show on Peacock called Based on a True Story, and it's about a husband and wife um, duo who are kind of big true crime podcast fans and they discover a serial killer uh the identity of a serial killer and they convince him to come on their podcast and and record episodes with them and so it's kind of like a funny kind of take on like the podcasting industry but at the same time it's a really kind of like tense and and fun um story like they go to a podcasting convention at at a certain point and we're, we're all sitting there like yeah yeah that, that's exactly what it looks like because <laughs> uh, I went to podcast movement out here in Vegas. Um, so I, I would highly recommend that one. It stars a uh, Katie Kuruko, Kuko, Haley Kuko. From, from, <laughs> from the, no one from, knows how to from say the her Big name. Bang Theory. Yeah, yeah. Penny, Penny from the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and it also uh, stars and it's Daisy Ridley. Chris Messina too. Yeah, and it stars Daisy Ridley's boyfriend as well. Um, so I, I, I would like I would like to see Aquaman uh, just because I want to see how big of a of, of a train wreck that um, movie is going to be. Yeah. Um, but I'm also a, a DC fanboy, so I uh, want to see how that turns out. Supposedly the next Ghostbusters is going to come out this year, but 
Hmm. Who knows? Um, and uh, I'm going to begrudgingly watch this because so many people are going to be on about it. But uh, Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I think we're all in for Rebel Moon. Y- you know what, though? Just go watch uh, Battle Beyond the Stars. It's the exact same movie. Oh, Matt, oh, Matthew same, Kadish, same premise. Matthew Cage hates so, Zack Snyder. Yeah, so basically, Battle Beyond the Stars <laughs> was a science fiction ripoff of the Seven Samurai, and Rebel Moon oh, is that's a ripoff right. it's of so Seven Battle Samurai Beyond the well. Stars. Yeah, yeah so like yeah, it's yeah. basically all just Seven Samurai ripoffs. Yes, but we'll still enjoy it. Zack Snyder, he's going to overproduce the shit out of it. <laughs> he's going to like do so much slow motion. I'm so in. much slow motion. So much of it. He's going to yeah. put John Woo to shame. I know. <laughs> he's going to have doves, like, and, doves. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's doves, doves and everything. Yeah. He'll have like dove? mechanical yeah. CGI doves. Yeah. Mechanical CGI. Uh, slow motion tango. <laughs> just everything. You see every bullet just slow going through yeah. the air. That's a four that's, hour long movie. Right. It's just one speed scene. It up, it's an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would recommend watching The Foundation on Apple TV season no. two. Is about, you didn't like it? I thought it was fantastic. Jude's a I like it. I, I liked watched it too. the first episode of season two. I thought it was really pretty cool. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, it just reminds me of Game of Thrones. It's just sci-fi. That's all. Yeah, it is. yeah. It's just Game it's of Thrones sci-fi. Super well produced. It's beautiful oh, on screen. Oh, it looks the great. Stuff. The actors are great. Like I, uh-huh. I enjoy the shit out of that. Yeah, show. it's it's if you if you love sci-fi, you're gonna love The Foundation. Yeah, uh, and also the Crowded Room on Apple TV. With Tom Holland, a uh, really good show. The, the and, after party is also a good one. Mm. Oh, after party, yeah, that's a good one. And Apple then TV is underrated. It is very underrated for the price too. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah um, it's like six bucks. Yeah, you get all these yeah. like, top tier shows. You get yeah. a year free if you buy a new Apple device. <laughs> oh, and if you have T-Mobile, you get a year free as well. Oh, I have T-Mobile. There you oh. go. So just call them and say, <laughs> "Where's my free shit?" Right. Yeah. And uh, movies to watch coming up: Blue Beetle. I want to see Blue Beetle. And the Haunted Mansion actually comes out this week. Haunted Mansion looks so good. And yeah, it does. And also, I want to see the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mm. because they are actually children. And it uh, kind of makes more sense. Uh, they're not seven foot turtles. Who did that? Was it Michael Bay? Yeah. The seven foot turtles? Yeah. Yeah. That's I didn't. Mr. Bay. Cal yeah, No. Yeah. no Wasn't Raphael played by the guy who did Reacher? Really? Uh, yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Oh, I didn't know that. What's yes. his name? Alan Richmond, I think. Yes, Reacher is a lot of fun as well. Yes. Cool. yes. Uh, okay, well, there you go, everyone. That's uh, our little wrap-up of what you should watch and what's coming out. And uh, Are you guys horror fans by any chance? Like, I who's am. A- okay, we, we got one only. Yeah, same with our group. I think I might be the only one that likes horror movies. Nobody else. They're all pussies. I I'm have a... They're all cunts. <laughs> cunts. <laughs> cunts. cunts. I have a, a regular horror movie watching night at our house that we host every couple of weeks so we do series so we just finished um the insidious series and then oh, we yeah. all went to go see the new insidious movie so oh, okay. uh this saturday we're starting the conjuring and then we're going to uh, do the conjuring and then uh annabelle and then the nun gearing up to go see the new nun, nun too. movie and did you know they're doing a conjuring tv show I did not. They just announced it this week. So The Conjuring will have a TV show. I'm not sure if it takes if it's about anything you've already seen, uh-huh. but now they will be having a TV show. Yeah. So they will conjure more bullshit from those two people to make it fun. <laughs> yeah. I have a conspiracy that Josh Lucas and Patrick Wilson are the same person. And I and think they are. One or more of them is in one or more of the Insidious <laughs> and Conjuring movies. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Now, real quick, is the new Insidious any good? Uh, does, does it wrap I, it up? Does it finally finish? I like thought we're it done? was really good, but I thought the ending sucked. It doesn't Got wrap it. anything up. It doesn't wrap shit up. God damn no. it! <laughs> yeah, and you know, Saw Ten is coming out. So hard pass. You guys like really Saw? Care. Me Saw too, X. right? Saw sucks. Yeah. 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 I'm not into. I'm not into torture porn stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, weird. <laughs> it's Saw Ten, but oh. it takes place between part one and two, so it's Saw one point five. Huh. Saw well, one was the only good one. Whatever so, happened, it was great. Whatever well, happened have you guys one with Chris Rock? Oh, horrible spiral or whatever they called it. Yeah, what I've seen. yeah, spiral. Yeah. Um, you guys have you guys seen the Saw movies? Like, how many have you seen? Every I've seen I the mean, first one. Yeah, we I saw think one. I've only seen maybe three. I okay. think I saw five. Oh, you did, uh, Carlos? Yeah. Saw movies? Have you seen it? I've seen maybe three or okay. four if you count the Chris Rock one. Ah, yeah, that one don't count. Johnny. Johnny's like, I don't, I don't know. know. When he saw his ICR at Home Depot. Laura? Three. 
and okay. two and three turned me off. Ah, I mean, they did a really good job. One of them was actually concurrent, like running concurrently with another one. That was the mm-hmm. best part of it. I was like, that's genius. So you're basically backfilling the other movie I just saw with what's going on in the background of this movie. And then mm-hmm. they linked up together. And I was like, ah, that's pretty good. I think that's what they're doing with Saw 10. They're just trying to do that again. That's all. So well, there you go. X. So, Saw X. Oh, oh. God damn it! Don't do that because yeah. <laughs> someone's going to come after us. <laughs> all right. That's our show, everyone. Let's thank the Salty Nerds for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yes, we got the crew of Matt, Jude, and Alex of the Salty Nerds. Check out their show. They are everywhere. They're on YouTube, anywhere you can get a podcast, social media, uh, probably Apple TV soon. Uh, maybe more content. Uh, yeah, so just look that, for the Nerds Talking logo. That's right. <laughs> I, I, I was just yeah. going to say, I, that's um, the trick. That's I just the got trick. on Instagram and followed you guys. And once you, the logo popped up, I was like, ooh, I'm so glad you're not, I'm so glad you're not suing us. Because, <laughs> well, you have to sue like a little Pakistani child. You know? yeah, so I don't know. I just uh, sue Fiverr. They got money. Uh, oh, they do have money. That's so true. And you know, it's sad too. Next week, we're going to be using your names on our show. <laughs> Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm well, Alex. And then, we gotta get you guys on one of our live streams or something. Oh, yeah. for sure. Anytime. Anytime. Well, that's our show, everyone. And if you guys know the show, this is where you basically give your goodbye. So for Laura. Bye. For Matt. Bye. For Carlos. <laughs> bye bye. For Alex. Hasta la vista, baby. For Johnny. <laughs> See ya. And for Jude. Stay salty. You cunt. Well, there we go. <laughs> you cunt. There you go. And I'm Lafayette. Thanks for tuning in to the Nerds Talking Podcast. We'll see you next time.